as we just saw him make a tackle there. I just want to stand up and applaud. Because he went to Tennessee like you? Well, that, that doesn't hurt one <laughs> bit, but how about the comeback? I mean, he came yeah. back from, from beating cancer and getting back to Pro Bowl level. One of the best players in the game. Third and goal, Gurley. No gain on the play that time, so a big stop, and it's going to leave him with a fourth and goal. Now, this feels like old school football because this has turned into a good old fashioned goal line stand. So, on offense, what do you do now? Do you decide to run it or throw it if you go for it on fourth down? They go for it on fourth and goal, but that winds up incomplete. For the Chiefs, Charles, looking back to last year in summation, 12 and 4. First time as the number one seed in the AFC since the mid 90s, 1995. And yeah, there was a lot of disappointment, understandably so, after that loss to New England. But it's like we were talking about with Patrick Mahomes, a lot to be proud of. He certainly is. And just think about your chief weapons coming back. Saw what I did there, didn't you? Chief yeah, weapons chief weapons. Back. Thank you. Yeah. Tyreek Hill will be back. Travis Kelsey will be back. Of course, Mahomes is the quarterback. The defense will need some work, though. They've got to get better against the run. Gave up way too many yards in that category. And they've got to get back to their elite levels and takeaway numbers. Something has dropped off the last couple of seasons. But they start to make some corrections there. We'll be talking about Kansas City for years to come. Yeah, that rush defense, 27th in the league. So certainly something to shore up before next season. Give him 30 yards there. Much more room to operate under after the big play. Here's first and ten. They'll hand it off now. Williams. And tough going there as he'll only get it up to about the 31. Credit him with a one-yard gain there to make it second and nine. I know the scouting report on him is that he doesn't possess the eye discipline to be an elite linebacker. And what that means is his ability to read, react, and oh make a play. But on that one, he looked like one of those guys. And he checks this one down to Williams. And he went backwards. He'll be down at the 30. Call it a loss of two on the play. And that'll bring up a third and 11 situation. From the gun, it's Mahomes. And this is going to be incomplete. Not only was the call spot on, how about the execution of that defense right there? Zone was absolutely locked up tight. He was trying to force it in there on third down. But if there's a time to force it, he felt like he needed to make a play, right? Yeah, exactly right. Third down, you got to try and find something. There's nothing available there for him. So an entertaining first half, and now we have hit the two-minute warning. Start the drive with Gurley. And he powers his way up past the 30. 
Call it a gain of four on first, and that'll make it second down. Clock continuing to roll as the Rams try to get going again. Play action. It's gone. They'll roll him out right. Now he's going to throw deep right side. And it's knocked away and incomplete. The coverage good that time by Kendall Fuller. But one thing that I've liked defensively is that they've shown him a lot of different looks here in the first half. They've come after him. They've sat back. I think that's what you need to do to keep an offense guessing. And they certainly have kept them on their toes. That's why they haven't had much success on the scoreboard. Here's gone. Man, open, it's cup. He's got it. And they'll get it up just short of the 45 at the 44. A Ram first down as Goff finds Cup. On first and 10, Goff. And that's caught left side. It's Woods. Touchdown, L.A. Robert Woods, 56 yards. And the Rams are in for six. And when a Hail Mary is completed for a touchdown pass like that, I think any defensive coordinator just puts their face right into their hands. I don't think there's any doubt about it. And I don't have stats in front of me. I don't have the empirical numbers that say that in recent years, the Hail Mary pass has been completed more than it has been. But it feels that way, doesn't it? And I know the defenses are spending more time on it. I think the biggest mistake they make is that they play everything from behind the receiver. I think they've got to start getting people in front as well to try and knock the ball away. Zerline out now to kick this one away. That'll be taken in the end zone. And he'll make it across the 20 as his guys will set up shop at the 23-yard line. And the Chiefs now getting set to go. They punted last time they had it. What steps, Charles, do you think they have to take to make sure they don't do that again? Well, let's just go to the football 101, the trite expression 101. Win first down. Make five, six, seven yards on first down and make it a second and three, second and manageable. Keep accumulating first downs that way. Keep moving the football. Don't want to get behind the sticks because then the defense has the advantage. And before this second down play, we'll get a whistle, a signal, and a timeout. As the clock will stop with 55 seconds to go until halftime. On second down, here's Mahomes. He's going to go deep for Conley. And he's unable to grab it. Thought he might have had position, couldn't hold on third down. Well, partner, they're not content to run this one out as we head towards the half, trying to hit a big chunk play right there and add to their score. Yeah, this is a confident group. At the very least, they're thinking field goal. Yeah, and I don't blame them one bit. I don't think you sit on the ball going into the half when you have a chance to put some more points on the board. And they'll take him down at the 31-yard line. And now before this fourth and two play comes to fruition, they're going to think about it and call a timeout as they'll stop it with just over 40 seconds to go in the first half. And how about the call here? They need two yards in their own territory on fourth down, and they're going to go for it. They do go for it. It's Mahomes. Able to find Harris complete. And he will have first down yardage as he's brought down at the 41. A curious decision to go for it, but it pays off with a first down. Now Mahomes on the bootleg. And that is incomplete. Sammy Watkins, the intended receiver. And it's second down. It's been my observation. There's been a nice variety of play calling defensively. You and I often talk about an offense's ability to keep a defense off balance with what they're doing. I think the converse has been true in this game. Yeah, I think you're right. They seem to have gone off tendency quite a bit, but only the second quarter, a lot of time to change things. Here now is second and 10, again from the 41. Mahomes will try again on second down. He's going to sling this deep downfield. 
And that will be incomplete with a clock down now to 13 seconds. The Chiefs on third down. They've only converted once in four tries. This is third and ten. Mahomes to throw once more. Forced out to his left. Going deep here for Watkins. And that'll be incomplete with just six seconds left on the clock. Now three straight incompletions. They don't care. That hasn't dissuaded them. They're going to go for it on four. They're indeed going for it as they look to throw. And going deep for Hill. That's going to be knocked away and incomplete. Time for a break. We've hit halftime. Two quarters down. Two still remain. We step aside. This is the NFL on EA Sports. Rams going to get the football first here, and they look to build on their lead as the second half gets started. And that drives coaches insane, doesn't it? When they see that happen, it's just, it just doesn't feel right, does it? Plus, you're giving up yardage. Golf will lead the Rams up here first and 10 at the 40. Now Gurley. He had a great move, but he'll still be stopped shy of midfield. Just what you want on a first down run. Call it eight yards, and it's second and two. Fake to Gurley. Now gone. Escaping the pressure right. Wide open receiver complete. An excellent pickup of 34 yards. As a general rule, offensive linemen like to know where their quarterback's going to be when he's setting up to throw the football. But sometimes they just have to get on the run, get on the move. He was able to do that on that play and picks up a first down with a nice throw. So the big play means just like that, they'll operate from the red zone now on first down. On first down, it's Gurley. And he's going to fight his way forward here for a modest gain. Five yards is the tally on first down. That brings up second and five. Tough first half for him, unable to put up the numbers he's used to producing. But with a guy like him, you and I both know it just takes a couple of explosive touches for him to make an impact on this game and on the stat sheet as well. And able to get him down, but he does reach the five. It's a 10-yard gain there, and it sets him up now first and goal. They're making it look easy out there. Another first down. So, so far on this drive, let me do this a little bit of math here. Four plays. Three. And he takes it across for a Rams touchdown. Todd Gurley. 